Chinese tech companies such as Baidu are rolling out robo taxis like this in multiple cities. They are supposed to be safer, cheaper, and can run 24/7, at least in theory. Shanghai is among the latest cities to introduce the service. I'm now in Jiading District of Shanghai, which is quite far away from downtown. As you can see behind me, the roads here are quite wide. There are significantly less traffic, so that's probably why Shanghai authorities decided to roll out robot taxi in this part of town. Unlike some taxi drivers who may at times ignore traffic rules when picking up passengers, their driverless counterparts require users to go to a designated pickup spot. In this case, a bus stop. There are not many cars around, and uh, it, it will take 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> and in Shanghai's 38 degrees Celsius weather, it's not a pleasant feeling. So here comes our ride. It's really slow. It's a robot taxi, but uh, there's a, a safety uh, person kind of sitting behind the wheels uh, in this, I guess, trial phrase. And uh, the ride itself is pretty smooth but slow, uh, which makes me a little bit impatient. But, yeah, I guess it's worth it for the novelty. At the moment, the biggest advantage robot taxis have over human drivers is price. My 3.6 kilometer ride costs just 7.5 yuan, or about one US dollar. The same journey on a ride hailing app would cost 16.5 yuan, or two dollars and fifty cents US. I tried to get a robot taxi from two other providers. But one app glitched out, and the other told me to walk over 700 meters to get to a pickup spot. But how are these services faring in other Chinese cities? My colleague also tried taking a robot taxi in Wuhan, where these services first attracted internet attention and sparked public debate in China. They now serve most of the city. Uh, the robot taxi turned my 10 minutes trip into over like 40 minutes and it didn't change lanes maybe because the road conditions were too complicated for it and uh, it even stopped behind the bus and wait for like five minutes the rollout has also drawn ire from some of china's taxi and ride hailing app drivers one taxi company in Wuhan accused robo-taxis of taking jobs from the grassroots. But this Shanghai taxi driver is resigned to having them as competitors. China's robo-taxi rollout is still a work in progress. It needs time to further adapt to challenging traffic conditions and improve their availability. For now, human drivers still have an edge. <laughs>